Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm giving you the most promised one that I've been talking about for a while. And we are going to herb the Scarlet Monastery. And I've honestly been dreading this mainly because there's such a tight pack of mobs that it makes it a bit difficult for my Shadow Priest just because I run out of mana. Um, if you have a stealth class, this is pretty easy. What I can do, though, is Soothe Mind, which can allow me to sneak past them. But the main reason you want to do Scarlet Monastery is it is four guaranteed um, spawn points that have... Uh, it's four instances per reset, and it's guaranteed to be your herbs. There's no competition. Um, something I will note is that Cathedral doesn't give Fade Leaf or Grave Moss. But what makes Cathedral worth it is for the reset timer. So as you can see here, we got lucky and we got a Grave Moth spawn out here, which is what we're shooting for. Um, uh, let me get my timer up. But yeah, you pretty much just run in here, gather all the herbs, and then move on. But we got three Grave Moths real quick like. Um, I don't believe Fade Leaf can spawn here from what I remember and how much I've played around. Just King's Blood, Grave Moss really spawn out here. Um, be careful not to pull these spirits because if you aggro any of them, they do chain aggro and it's a pain in the butt sometimes. And then other times you do end up having to kill them. Maybe, I don't know. We might be able to pick this. But you pretty much just run in, grab the herbs, get out. Um, if you have a nifty stopwatch, you can use that. If you have, um, I have my riding boots on right now, but we'll go here and then minor speed increase helps a lot. You can take swiftness pots if you really are trying to go, but at the end of the day, you're going to hit lockout um, doing this five times really quickly because you're not really killing anything. Um, if you're an enchanter or something, you can go and kill the uh bosses in the cathedral just to get the loot and to stop your lockout but just make sure you keep track of a timer if you rock um a loot appraiser here it's a timer for you but you can only go into five instances per hour um and on your way out you don't have to be as cautious because you're leaving they won't be able to kill you it doesn't really matter too much if you pull anything but that's it right there for the scarlet graveyard um library and armory do have spawn points for um for fade leaf so you're definitely going to want to check them out sometimes there is a fade leaf spawn literally on the hound master so you might have to kill him but the loot they drop isn't too bad right there's the cathedral right here's the armory and then here's the library so we're going to run through here and head and get that Alrighty guys, so we're back here in the library. The first run I did got a little messed up. We pulled too many things and made it a pain in the butt. So what you want to do here is, if you can, kill one of the guards up there. Makes it a much better uh, chance to get past them with Mind Soothe and stuff like that. Then you can sneak along right through here and just follow this guard's path um, I ended up killing this guy just so I could get through it then we gotta re-soothe it and I'll soothe that one it's just uh, it's a pain in the butt but it's better than sitting here trying to kill them because that would be even worse and then they can chain aggro and it's just a mess sometimes we can't soothe the dogs but we can soothe the masters here um, if you're a mage this is so much easier because you can just kill everything but as you can see we got a fade leaf and we look here and we see that's a life root so that's something we aren't gonna want to go gather um, once you run in here that's the only spots for the library that you can get so once you run in through here grab that there's really no reason to worry you can just kind of run out i fear them just so i can get out with ease not use too much of my mana and then next we have the armory which isn't that bad at all um there's a few things 
there, but you just want to get out to that first courtyard where you can get some Fade Leaf. Um, this is the only place in the game that has both Fade Leaf and Grave Moss, which is really, really important. Um, right there, Fade Leaf, literally right out the front door. Love to see it. Now, this poll is interesting. You can choose to kill one, or you can try to split them right down the middle. Sometimes you can get lucky and do it. Other times, you pull them both. But these are just soldiers in here. They're not anything too difficult. Just kind of sucks because they hit pretty quickly. Um, something, too, that I want to talk to you guys about is... Um, one, sorry for taking so long with this video today. I'm not feeling too well. I slept for like six hours, or sorry, 12 hours. I've had a very nasty cough. Right now I'm medicated, but you can probably tell by my voice. I'm not that like enthusiastic as I like to be. That's because my throat hurts a lot. Um, so I'll keep you posted on that and try my best to keep getting these videos out. And then another thing that I just would like you guys to check out, because I think it's super important, is we have the um, impeachment hearings for the United States President Donald Trump going on right now. You know, whether whatever side of the aisle, political belief, whether you think he's innocent or guilty, none of that, uh, you know, that does matter to you. But at the end of the day, it's an impeachment trial, and that's super um crazy to live through and i would encourage you guys to go check it out and just sort of draw your own conclusions from that anyway guys we are now at the cathedral and with that we're gonna have to um finagle our way through here um there are three herb spawns cathedral is actually the easiest because they're pretty spread out so unless you intentionally mean to pull them you probably won't pull them um, but we can get gold thorn and life fruit life fruit is kind of worthless, but the gold thorns pretty nice So I'd recommend just come in here picking those um, If you do have enchanting as your other profession, I would say kill the bosses um, If not you're gonna hit the hour You're gonna hit the timer at some point, but it won't be that um, It won't be that hard to avoid it <coughs> And this is what I meant when I uh, was talking about my priest and sucking because I don't have enough mana regen and so we get lulls like this where we just sit here and have to wand things or fight them to get that mana up. Because unfortunately you can't herb as you fight things in this game. And then all these guys, of course, run away, and then it's just a pain in the butt. And Spirit Tap doesn't work because they are not of level, so they do not yield honor. Which is even better. But, if you're able, you'll get it down and, you know, be able to get through here, get all these herbs. And just like that, that's 7 gold in 9 minutes it took us. We had one fluke where we had to run out, but other than that, we were, did pretty good. So then you just run out, reset, and rinse and repeat, guys. So that's pretty much it. Now it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna record this for you and see what how much we get at the end of it. And hopefully it's a number worth uh, grinding this for you, because you can literally make the shadow oil right here. If you take leaded veils, and if you also have dream foil you, and crystal veils on you, you can, or vials, not veils, I'm an idiot. <laughs> you can make the greater shadow protection pots literally right within the monastery. But anyway, guys, that's all. I really, really hope you enjoy this video, and I will see you at the end. Whoop! Quick note, something I just want to show you guys is we're in our second run at the graveyard. We got Kingswood, Kingswood, Kingswood. Now, there can only be three herb spawns from what I have seen. I've never seen more than that. So, there's no reason for me to pick King's Blood. It's essentially worthless. I can make some po some low-level potions, but we've already gathered a lot of King's Blood. More than we'll ever use f for the... Uh, 
uh, from the other videos and just gathering stuff. So once I see all three and see I don't need it, I then just run out and get ready to do it um, the next two places because the reset will reset either way whether you pick them or not. But just wanted to show you that can happen and while unfortunate, um, just, you know, roll with it and it lets you leave early. Alrighty guys, so through scrutinous uh, trial and a lot of error, we have found a really fun way to make the, this clear go really, really quick. So we walk up, we kill this first guy here, and that's going to make this uh, Galdet spawn over there. But what I like to do is walk over to here, pull these three, fear, and then jump up here. And this spot right here, I actually discovered, is a reset point. And since none of them are ranged, they will just eventually evade and go back to their points. And then we can run right through here to get that beloved fade leaf. And voila! See? I didn't know that this was a reset point. I tried it in Armory as well, and it did not work there. So, it looks like that's a reset point just right here in the um, library. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was a cool, fun fact. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Alrighty, guys. So we have finished. We hit our five resets in about 50 minutes. The first one was at 12.19 is what it looks like. Um, so we might have another one coming up anytime here shortly. But we are locked right now. Um, that's also something that I like about Atlas Loot is it tracks it for you. So uh, it's 1219, 1229, and just all those timers. So we're pretty locked out. We'll need to wait a bit to, before we can go. But we were able to get 19 Grave Moss, 24 Fade Leaf, and 19 Gold Thorn. And I just think that's pretty incredible. What I don't like is that we get locked out here, you know? Like... Yeah, we did it in about an hour, but the more effective you get at doing this, the the quicker you'll get locked out, and it'll be make it more ineffective. So, like, if you're a mage who's an enchanter and herbalist, then you can make some really big money here. Um, but if not, then you're just going to get locked out to it, and you'll be unable to do it. I honestly have considered bringing my mage here and then, like, clearing the cath on my mage and then logging over because resets are uh, account wide so it would technically be the same instance whether my mage or my uh, priest is in it but there you have it that's four greater shadow protection pots each of those are selling for seven gold right now which is just incredible so right there that is 24 gold Anyway, guys, that's it, and I just wanted to show you this amazing guide and how great it can be, and I hope to see you uh, later, and have a great day, guys. Bye bye If you made it to the ending, thank you so much for watching this video. It really helps. If you could, please share this with, like, one person you know, because it would help me so, so much. I'd appreciate that. really gets me going on this and can keep growing to make this sustainable and keep up this lifestyle. So I super appreciate it. And if you could please like, comment, and subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And thank you so very much. Bye-bye.